tell me what, what's going on? So basically, um, I said, this is not acceptable. I want money now for the hotels. We're going to hotels. We'll come back and we'll do two parties. <laughs> we ain't going to do the two parties. We'll do what we want to do. Whatever we decide to do, we do. We've just travelled 6,000 miles across four different countries to get here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. Can you stop filming? They're going to get around a £10,000 bill when they get back to England. Lawyers are going to get involved and the American promoter who we met in London in his penthouse who gave it all the everything, he can't even be bothered to get out of bed. I think I'd rather sore off my own arm than go back to the hospital. These guys aren't going to help us and take us home. We've got to do that journey. VIP goddesses are a group of ultra glam, ultra sexy, all female entertainers. We do stilt fire grinding, dancing, living statues. We just do special occasions, big events, exclusive nightclubs, film premieres, international events, festivals. We don't do your average nightclub. I want them to, to be the girls allowed, the pussycat dolls, without the singing, you know, with the fire. And the skills. There's no reason why they can get to that level. We've already done some major gigs in London and we're moving to the future. The future is, is us going and doing these wild gigs all over the place. And the Sahara Desert is a perfect opportunity to do a, a unique gig that, that not many people get to do. You know, the Sahara Desert, it's insane. You know, you're going to be staying in TV tents and filming is incredible. We're driving down to the Sahara Desert, which is a bit of a mad idea to do, driving six and a half thousand kilometers. But there is a, a real reason for it, which is a great reason to, to show a road trip, to show all the girls different sides, rather than just jumping on the plane, getting to the gig, doing the gig, getting back on the plane and coming back. You know, we're, we're being able to see lots of different sides of the characters. We're there to, to be able to show the rest of the world and the viewers out there that what the girls are like, what they get up to, you know, what it takes to be a, a VIP goddess and what it takes to be a multi-skilled artist out there. I'm Lucy, pleased to meet you. I am Sahara, I'm the lead degree. Nice, official. <laughs> I'm Kaylee Page. Hi. Hello, I'm Georgie. Hello, I'm Georgie. Hey, I'm Georgie from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> All good? All good. Yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, go to the tunnel then. Start this six and a half thousand kilometer drive. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> yeah. So where about are you going? Uh, we're going to be going to Morocco, we're going to be going to the Sahara Desert and working at Trans-Sahara, one of the festivals going on. I think it's going to be epic, it's going to be massive. Five of us going out there having a massive laugh, doing amazing work with the fire, with the angle grinding and I think it's just going to really work well with the festival. With the type of music it is, it's a trans festival so I think it's going to blend really good. Bonjour everyone. Yeah. What I'm looking forward to most out for three days. Lots of fun. Looking forward to getting on a stage. I'm guessing there's going to be stages there. And performing my little heart out. All my friends think I've got such a glamorous life. Yeah, yeah you travel and yeah. yeah, you've got a nice house. And yes, you live in London. And yes, you seem to always party and say that you're partying with so and so and millionaires and what have you. Nobody sees the other side that we, you know, sleep rough. Sometimes we don't eat. We have to have no sleep. All my friends back at home seem to think I've got this amazing life and it just happened overnight. So they like, I work my ass off. You can spend 20 quid in a day and you've earned nothing because you have to go out, yeah. go to castings, you have to buy certain outfits. Yeah. But you're always thinking costume, yeah. costume. Yes. You have to buy nice clothes to look the part for yeah. the castings. You will eat beans for a week yeah. because it means at the end of it you have a job. Yeah. yeah. Like, you sacrifice things to do just what you love. Comfort zone. Yes. We're completely out of that every day. Yeah. And I've got to say, you, you're your own driver. If you don't push it, it doesn't happen. You have to constantly apply to stuff. So, um, day, day one and a half, we're 500k 
kilometers away from London. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Girls have had a little kip on the, in the van on the way up. And um, got another hour and a half drive to our stop off point in Mont Peru in southern France. Where we're gonna take a nice little rest and gather up, have some food, enjoy the weather, enjoy the relax before the drive down to Marbella. Nice view to the right. engine management lights come on. Why are we on the hard shoulder for? Because we're breaking down. Are we actually Whoa. breaking down? <laughs> we are actually <laughs> breaking down. down. <laughs> Tommy, if I can just pull over, I'll try that, but it's sort of the wrong place to stop. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not a nice place to stop right here, is it? Right down in the mountains. It's going to be like that film, Wrong Turn or something. Oh, stop, oh. Please. Animals gonna come out and like eat us. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't a hard shoulder. Then. It's oh picking my up Do well there's an engine warning light flashing. Can I get a drink out of the back if we're stopping? I need yeah, to go to the toilet. Here, yeah. Okay. No, I mean for number two. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I fell out. <laughs> but if I don't go to the toilet, I'm going to be here for a week. It's not good for you, is it? To hold it. And it gets to the point where you go and hold it in. There's like, I watch this TV show. Cause the damage. There's like, like a damn wall and if you hold it in that much yeah. it will just like burst yeah. and you will just wee yourself and yeah. you can't stop it. Yeah. If you hold it that, that much. Toilet. Got 
got so much driving to do these next like six days so we can't moan are we nearly there yet? Still it's time for a break. And you can touch it if you like. <laughs> can you hear that though, does it? Touch it. It depends, touch it again. It's like a bike. It's like, oh my god, the bike me. It's like a little pet. I've always wanted to Going over the Milo Bridge, um, we're about sort of about 50 kilometres away or so to Mont Peru, and this bridge was built uh, designed by a British designer, not a French one. This is an incredible bridge, and uh, often it floats up in the clouds and it rises up and down with uh, different heights on it. Vineyards everywhere, it's just a stunning bit of relaxation. Um, and the parents are away, so I hope we don't trash the house. I'm just excited to, to see my dogs actually, to be fair, it's going to be really nice. When was the last time you saw your dogs? Um, it was about, about a year ago. I mean, Sahara's position is, you know, she's there to, to be creative director, to, to, to look after the girls, to organise them as well, as well as myself. So, you know, we've, we've, we've got to have a bit to that. With, you know, with regards to Sahara, you know, she, she manages the girls. All right, girls, just, just for five minutes, just turn it down a little bit, thanks. But with, with, um, with regards Pay what are they saying? I don't know. But the whole atmosphere every time we do a gig, everywhere we go, it's just it's just one big family. It's happiness. It's really positive. And it's something that can only grow and grow and grow. You know? Are we having dinner here? Do we need flats, <laughs> heels, people in flats? So Honestly, guys, I don't know. We're I'm gonna, going, off I'm what going you're with you, wearing. yeah. <laughs> All Molly said is it's going to be maybe some activity of walking of some sort so it'll be cash. It's not dressy dressy. <laughs> right. Run it through me with it again, what exactly we're going to do. We're going to drive up to the top of the mountain. We're gonna go for a little trek. We're gonna see something really special. Right. We're gonna have a have some food on the way up, or you know, and maybe a couple of drinks at the top. Just chill out, take absorb it all in. So we're gonna go and get some food, go up to a mountain, see the view. Uh -huh. Casual wear, as in, yeah. will we be walking a lot or not? No, we'll be doing a little walk, but it won't be you know. We won't be trekking up mountains. A little bit. Let's go, because I've been yeah, waiting for the last 20 minutes. I'm sorry we're not having two dogs and about eight people in the car. It's impossible, and I'm, I don't want to smell a dog either. I don't like dogs. You're not putting, you're not putting two, cars in, two dogs in one car with all of us. 
I'm sorry, I know you don't, but they look really cute, look. I mean, how are we going to fit everyone in that? Fine, they'll be sitting on I'll everyone's I'll sit in lap. the boot. I'm not having a dog sitting on anyone's lap running around. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know. I'm going to do them. Okay, we will. I'm not getting in if dogs are stick coming with us. Why do you have to take dogs? Why is it compulsory to take some dogs? I haven't seen my dog in a year. Yeah. Then you should visit your home more often. Not my problem. Come on. I'm not going in there with dogs. Full stop. Oh, okay. Dogs out. You need to stop the camera. You no. understand my phobia, and yet you I'm want me to get into a confined space with two animals. I'm going to be sitting in the back. No. No. Okay, so you guys managed to settle um, the whole dog situation? Yes, I'm just yeah. scared, bro. Yeah. Petrified of dogs. Sorry, what, what side of the road are we driving? I can't have it no more. Right. Feeling fucked up and poor, stuck for support. You go into the courts, do a jail time, shutting the doors. It's just a young kid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know you're feeling fed up, so you light up a split to your eyes, get rid of he walks up in his flat, he says all right mum, but there ain't no talking back She did it on the floor after taking jaws a crack He starts showing remorse, the boy he was forced to stab To kill a man is tough, he offered him a bag of rocks To get this man to stab his gut till he's had enough Was it worth a little man, you're in a slam of blood, 20 years you got How could you manage? But he lived in a house full of damage Mother wasn't brown, father went around, he get vanished His man thinks he was in the traffic He couldn't get his head around, all of the tragic that happened to him Never had the chance to be a happy little kid well, when you're ready, we'll go to the baker's and we'll get some bread and some cheese and ham and red. Who likes red? Where is that? Today too. Cheers. Cheers. In France. We got to Marbella yet and we're cracking up with champagne. Does anybody else want any champagne? Driver? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Here's yours as well. Cameraman, Sam. Watch it. Cheers. Cheers, Minis. Cheers. Cheers. Off to Barcelona. Woohoo. You never know, these might be the highs and lows you wish you had. At least if we have them, we can get, get rid of them after. But we okay. can't recreate the moments. Right. I don't think two hours in Barcelona going to a bar is going to benefit this. The way that I see it is we've got, we've got what, a 10 hour journey, right? That 10 hour journey is 10 hours. What we do in that 10 hours is up to us and how we break it, how we rest in that 10 hours. But it is uncomfortable and it's stressful and it's a stressful situation for the girl to be in. Barcelona is a key city. We are a key team, we're VIP goddesses. Barcelona is just too much of a distraction. It's a city, we won't see any of it. I, I go to Paris, you know I go to Paris for work, I don't see any of it, because I go in, do the work and come back out again. We won't see any of Barcelona, it doesn't make sense to go there. I need to go to my bay ASAP to sort all of this yeah, out. Yeah, but that's not, whatever happens, we're not going to get there any quicker than what is being
in the 10 hours. There Maybe is. we will be, he, he said himself, he, he said himself. No, because we get... have to have breaks at the but certain no, time. No, no, we don't. I'd rather him break in two and a half hours time. No, he's Having not a... tired, he doesn't need to sleep, he's just said yes, that. Yes, but he's going to top his power up again, he's going to re-boost himself up again, right? I don't agree with it. Barcelona makes no sense. It won't be, it probably won't be open. You're packing them girls out and they're half asleep, being freezing cold. When no cafes are open, no bars are open, it's not even high season yet. He doesn't need rest in two hours. No, but then he'll need it in four or five hours, and then, then it's going to be a long break. Work. So it's the same thing. This is exactly the same thing. It's time management, and the time management says that you cannot fault, you cannot argue with time of what's available in the time and space. Time says that we have got a ten-hour journey, and in that ten-hour journey, X amount of time will be spent stopping. Right. So if we organise that time correctly. It doesn't, you said five o'clock when I get that. It doesn't make sense. Five o'clock, I'm never going to get everything done. Well, we're, not we're, we're not on a jolly here. We're not on a jolly. We're here to on. do business. It's but time. this is not, I'm, I'm telling you the plan of what's going to happen when we get there at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So that's three hours took already, sorting out the girls. We've got 11 hours, 10 hours. I've just told you you can't plan anything without being there. Of course, we can start things. We can start talking about how things need to be. We're on a VIP goddesses tour. We're on a road trip. We're, we're telling people about stuff. Fact is, we've got a hell of a responsibility to, to produce something here that's going to be of high quality. You, you don't see their manager making them go out. Well, actually, hang on, hang do. on. Making them go out the night before a massive gig, saying, yeah, go to a nightclub, scream your head I off. Did not hang on, say hang that, on, hang I? on. Scream your head off. Do this, do that, then you've got to get up at 8 in the morning, do your rehearsals, make sure your voice is okay. What to, I'm saying sing. is... No, hang on, hang on, okay. right? So you don't get that. That's unprofessional. No, no, I completely it. do, but I'm not saying that at all. Hang on. So you're going to drag a load of girls into a shithole no. at 5 o'clock no, from Mark you're not, Listen from to me, listen to me. I do not care if we go into a place. What I care about is driving into Barcelona, maybe picking up a key point in a square. We park out outside the marina. We're in Barcelona. We are in Barcelona. I'm putting this up there. I don't want to go. I take as much as we can back home. I don't care if they're fucking sweating bollocks off. Yeah? Because next week, it's all forgotten. And they're back to fucking day job. And I do want people to get rest. And I do believe that in strategic time management, we can make this work a treat. Okay. Right? Leave you for a couple of seconds. No, but I think we're good. We're kicking off a bit. That was good. Oh, you have to go. Mm. Where'd you get them from? Yeah, I, I have them in my We're going to be going to Barcelona right now. Um, any update on food? Um, we're, uh, it's 5am, we're in Barcelona. Pretty tired. <laughs> Been travelling for the last uh, three hours from Mont Peru and South, South France. As you can see, at 5 a.m. it's pretty lively still. On a Wednesday.
my best to catch your eye, but you don't want for me. So take off your. We just think there is a sense of fault. If not, we've, um, yeah. This is sort of our, our best hope at the moment because you can't get to anyone. You know, you can't even, you know, not even a local garage. What's happened now is the last, the last time we had, we had about two hours and about 150 miles. Absolutely smooth running, no problems whatsoever, and then just a little while back, a couple of times we went into limp I mean, to be honest, if it breaks down in the middle of Morocco, it's um, it's much more of a liability for everyone. You know, I don't really want everyone stuck at the side of the Morocco road. Well done. Bye, VW. How often, how often is it happening now? It's uh, day two or three, <laughs> losing count now. Um, we've obviously this morning, we late last night, this morning, early hours, we, we left Barcelona, we're driving down to Marbella, and the van has stopped playing up. We've got engine management lights come up, and it really needs to get looked at big time. So we've got another. 460 miles to go and it's raining and it's a bank holiday in Spain so can't even get the thing booked in until Monday now yeah so maybe even Tuesday so we've got some real problems to sort out at the moment all the girls and everyone are still all fast asleep so they don't have a clue um, we've got a bit of a checkmate situation where obviously the, the you know, everything's working fine but it's a serious line and it needs looking at. It's adding some interesting stress to the situation but where there's a problem there's a solution and we'll, we'll uh, definitely find the solution. <laughs> so I'm going to be optimistic and, and be happy about this. But uh, yeah, we will get to the Sahara Desert. We will. Where are we going? Sit beside. More problems. Ticket machine not working. Well, they don't. They can't not stop, not fix it. Huh? See? The problem with Visa. Master. Must be a problem with your visa. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. That's us. Well, nothing. What did just happen there? Basically, they've got a problem with their visa machines. They're saying that my card doesn't work. They're saying that, that card doesn't work. They're saying that Vex card doesn't work. Your card didn't work. But then your master card worked. Right. Even though we've just done all the way since Barcelona we've just done about seven tolls using these cards. Welcome to Spain. <laughs> so we're going to call uh, my good old pal Jock in Port Venice, English mobile mechanics and uh, it won't be a bank holiday for him. It will help us out and it will get us sorted out. Are you ready? Yeah. You don't owe him any money do you? No. no. Hi, is, is Jock is Jock there? Is uh, Jock there? Is uh, it's Oliver? Yeah, Oliver Gillespie. It's Oliver Gillespie. Sorry. Hello. Hi, is Jock there? Can I have a chat with Jock? Is, 
not here. Can I get his mobile? No. Can you give him a call and ask him to call me? Oh, man, you're going to get shot for that. What are you doing? Just fucking hang up again. Right. I have to call Spencer. They'll have Chuck's number. How rude is that? So uh, we just tried to get bring out English Math Hull Mechanics and they're not open, bank holiday. Um, so we've called uh, Spencer, our good friends at the Sisu Boutique Hotel where we're staying and uh, he's just given me Jock's number for English Mobile Mechanics so I'm now going to give him a call and hopefully he'll answer and we'll have a conversation about this. Thanks, Bella. God, he's not that an elusive character. <laughs> That was his secretary. Secretary. <laughs> Hi, Spence. <laughs> um, that went through to his secretary, and she was semi-helpful. <laughs> semi-helpful. She said if she can get hold of him. Hello. Hi, Jock. How you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, shame you're not around. I wanted to have a drink with you anyway. Maybe we should have just taken one of them. It would have been simple. Sunday, Sunday, I mean, what are they doing? Like drinking all the water out in there? It's not possible, is it? Yeah, what party drinks do you all have? <laughs> My mum will be so proud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait. Wait. do that. <laughs> oh, that was good. The only thing that I do at a party, which people are really interested at, Nobody will be here. Oh look! Oh, body burning! So your party It stinks. Yeah. It smells like Cheerios. Fuck. Oh! Not everyone can do that. No, they can't do that. So, um, trying to sort out all these issues, getting into Morocco, the vans, but as you can see we're moving away still, but um, can't go over 3,000 revs for us to issue light kicks in, so... So the options we've got at the moment getting over there is um, it looks like VW are going to get us some taxis from Marbella over to Tan uh, Tarifa uh, or out to Syria and then we're going to get the foot passenger ferry across to Tangier where I'm waiting for Abdu, the event organiser, who's going to be letting us know if he can get us a uh, a minibus to take us over there. If that fails, then the uh, backup plan will be to, to hire two little cars out there. The way things are going at the moment, anything can happen against the wrong way, really. I'm a little bit stressed, but keeping calm. We'll get to the hotel. We're going to be getting there a little bit later than we wanted to do. We've got a promo shoot to do with all this going on as well. Looking after the five girls and top of that. Um, it's not been easy this trip, but we maintain to be strong and, and we will get there. I'm sure we'll get there without a doubt. I'm sure tomorrow we're going to be seeing some sand, some Moroccan people, Moroccans, and uh, we're going to be having a laugh, lots of smiles and laughter. Until then, things are hanging in the balance, I guess.
Italian man with rubber feet. <laughs> I don't know. Roberto. Roberto. <laughs> I don't get it. What's this? <laughs> I don't know. Push your circle. What do you mean read on? Oh, oh, oh. Circle. Circle. <laughs> oh god. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Terrorist. <laughs> Terrorist. Terrorist. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this? <laughs> rum, 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 rum. Engineer. Oh! One day, my boyfriend picked up on the side of the road hitchhikers. One had a speech impediment, and the other one had one leg. So <laughs> Is this a joke? No, no well, it sounds oh. like a joke, doesn't it? And yeah. they're driving along the highway, and my boyfriend's got one ear. So there's one <laughs> ear, one leg, and a speech impediment. <laughs> oh. I have some really funny jokes that I've heard of, but I can't God, really never, I can never remember See, them. that's why I'm like, I can't remember jokes. Yeah, it's been a long day in one vehicle in kind of a set position and looking forward to a bed tonight very much. Right. Now we're getting ready in the back of the van, which I've actually managed to do quite impressively. And I'm um, ready to perform. Very excited to actually go somewhere and do something now. I don't like being stuck still too long. George is done a mic and looking mighty fine. Sorry. I reckon. Say no, I'm apologising to you. You're the one that kicked me. <laughs> true, it's true. <laughs> and I didn't even apologise. <gasps> no. That true English bird that always apologises when someone else knocks in the air. True yeah. English bird. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, that's 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 a right relief. Basically, um, Abdu sorted us out uh, an eight-seater coach to get us all the way down there. So. I'm chuffed to pieces with that. Knackered, but it's really, really, really good news. Uh, and to uh, making sure we get to the desert. <laughs> we're coming, we're coming, baby, we're coming. It's unfortunate that we had to go to Barcelona in the end. I knew I was right. And now I'm stressed out because I was right and I knew I was going to be right. And now it's just ruined the whole thing, the whole plans for tonight. That was a waste. Yeah. Yeah. Although I do love Barcelona, but we didn't need to go. Really oh, enjoy her. Because so it was cold. Didn't look nice from the uh, five a.m. Yeah. Didn't look yeah. actually. We went at five o'clock this morning. Yeah. Need to go I forgot that paraffin. Doing a three minute promo video around the grinding. grinding. Drink. <laughs> We're on a hunt for a bit of paraffin because uh, the whole journey's been a bank holiday in Spain. We haven't got any anywhere. Do you think we'll find some paraffin? Yeah. 
I'm optimistic. It's uh, half past ten though. On a bank holiday. It's still open car, it's a bit like the Saints, but you know, it's just very good. Start a fire. What's it said, Carson? It's fire started. Yeah, but you can't use barbecue fuel or barbecue lighter. That's too dangerous. Well, we'll see. When the, but we're not going to breathe okay. it up. Ah, uh, no, no, it smells good. It smells like the stuff I use in... It uh, doesn't smell good, it just smells... Smell that. Like, is that the stuff you used in um, uh, Malaya? Yeah, it smells like insect repellent. I would have thought it's the beach side, but maybe it goes under. Um, no, this oh, this is going well. into my bear. Isn't that lovely? Welcome to my bear, guys. Yeah, lovely. Woo! I thought it was made out of cheese. <laughs> Got lightning as well. Lightning behind it. The thing is, though, if you do it outside anyway, you, by the way the fire sticks are, you look to which way the wind's blowing, and you breathe against the wind, like with the wind, not against it. If you do it, like, you can burn your face off. So if the wind's blowing that way, yeah, you just like, if it's like that way, you don't blow into it otherwise. See you later, babe. I'm looking really, really looking forward to this now. Got a big smile on my face. Is this a main strip? It is, yes. Just through my bay, you know. But Port Venus is where all the action is. This is, uh, this is you know, much more low key. But this <laughs> oh. I really use this. That <laughs> comes well. Enough. I'm really bad. It's disgusting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are glamorous. My mum will kill me. She was like, please <laughs> don't burp on camera. My mum says that. I was like, I don't know why it's fine. It's been a hard road trip so far. We've got a long day tomorrow. Obviously, we've got the van sorted out now. Well, the, the, the next bus sorted out, so we're uh, we're in a good position now. Very good. Is that it? The poor old van's going into the hospital tomorrow. Oh no! Oh, goodbye, van. Oh, I'm meant to the speed Where are we going? Oh. Where are we getting to Morocco? We're off to Morocco and yes, we're rent our cars. Oh, that sucks. As in, some of us will have to drive. There we are pros to... of having no license. We need to drive. <laughs> How many miles? Uh, well, since this time last night, 875. And uh, how long did that take us? <laughs> that took us. Best part of 24 hours. Well, could it have been quicker? Could have been. What, what, how could it have been quicker? Toilet. Toilet, toilet was that? Yeah, toilet stuff. It was entirely toilet stuff. Nothing else. Yeah. It wasn't the fact that everyone needed to go to the toilet all the time. I reckon we could have shaved the best part of a day. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that um, you don't keep the fans too much down because obviously the flame will come up and it'll burn your hand. So if you want to do a down motion, do it a bit faster than the yeah. stop yeah. you're yeah. start going a bit more yeah. slow. And you can go down like that, but once it gets to there, then it starts burning again. And I usually go up again that's when really start burning. So if you do things like that, you can do you know, like anything. So um, there's going to be one girl left. Yeah. The location to have you uh, yeah, it's, it's a brilliant location to have our photo shoot and everything we had done, but we were like 10 hours late, so we didn't get to experience the hotel and our video shoot and our photo shoot to how we should have. We were meant to get here at 3 o'clock this afternoon and we didn't get here till 10 o'clock tonight, so by the time we were ready, it was like 11, then it started to rain, it was like... We couldn't experience the pool, we couldn't experience 
the actual the people that were staying here because obviously by the time we got here everybody that was at the hotel had left at the fort for noon to party so no one was here they looked really a little bit like Ooh. so um i've just come off the phone from Adzu and obviously previously a couple of hours ago they arranged to to get us uh, you know an eight seat bus to get us all down there and now i've just had another phone call from him saying that it's actually a five seat bus so this is not good. I don't know what's going to happen. It's like one o'clock now and we're in proper news and we're meant to be leaving at half past eight tomorrow. So I don't know, mate. I, I, we've, we've got to go and sort this out. So you're going to have to... We'll have to go and go and get on the internet and try and find some hire cars, I think. I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do this. Never say never on this trip. Never say never. And this doesn't seem to be normal for Fort Benoos. Today, I'ma find myself a new way. I'ma pull myself together, hey. Cause the weekend's calling. Cause the weekend's calling. You used to lay by my side. So the plan originally was for Mr. Beck, our driver, to drive us to the Sahara Desert in our big bus. Everything would be nice and comfy, we would get sleep, but unfortunately the buses broke down in Marbella and still at. I had a dream that was so real, just as we were pulling, pulling in. I was convinced that we were pulling in to um, like this ocean which had like this island in the middle and that was where we were getting the bus from and it just seemed so luxury there was like champagne waiting for everyone like, um, it was so nice until. and then i got elbowed wake up and it was, there was no champagne there was no ocean no island i guess i should be sure Incredible statement of the day. So come out sandals. I wish I could do that. So how are you feeling? Hi. You I'm look okay. better. You look better. You got a smile right. on your face. Yeah, yeah. I haven't slept much and I felt very sick for a second, well, a few minutes ago, but I kind of contained myself now. Glad I'm getting off here. And as soon as I find somewhere comfy, I'm just gonna go on. Basically Travelled by ferry, which was very rocky, and we had a few sicknesses within the group. Uh, it was quite enjoyable. I, I personally um, found it quite fun. So then it calmed down, and the sun came out, and we arrived here. So we were relatively happy at that point. We come to the side of the road where we currently still are sitting <laughs> and having a picnic. Two hours, later. Um, <laughs> two hours later, we are waiting for Oliver to get hold of transportation where we're supposedly driving ourselves in a third world country, which would be interesting as it is. So this is like the little goddess's mission. Having a picnic in Morocco. Pavement picnic. Pavement picnic in Morocco. Oliver's nearly thrown up on the ferry. Looking all this stuff around with us. Now not knowing what's going on. It's, it's going to be interesting. Right, so basically we can have this van here. I don't know if we can get all the stuff in. That was why I thought I'd bring the van there and with see the if we have a driver and we'll go straight down there. But it's 12,000 dirhams, which is about 1,000 euros. But I've just spoken to the organiser and he's trying to sort something out and he says that's very, it seems to be expensive. So, you know, if they come out and say 5,000 dirhams, which is what I think we should be paying, which is 7,000 cheaper, just... You know, do you guys mind we're just hanging on a bit longer? We'll just keep ourselves fed and watered. Quick question: Is that his first offer, or have you haggled that down? I've haggled it down. Sure. I, you know, I've been away for all this yeah, time. I've been like, is that including I've petrol? Been, yeah, it's everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have to like maybe rent out. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
12,400 yeah. arms yeah. for big Do, big. Those mil? 14 mil. Yeah. 14. 14 mil. Can we, no. do it for, can we do it for 10,000? That, that's more, that's more than that. Hello? I'm not digging anything. <laughs> really? A hole to bury him in. I said it just feels like someone's just going to jump out and keep a gun in their ass. Like, <laughs> I've just given him 40 quid to shut up and go away. Yeah, good. Have you done that? Yeah. Have you done that? Well, I've given him 30 quid actually, well, he doesn't realise it's, that. I didn't feel comfortable getting in there with the Mafia. Okay, I just had this image of we all getting in there and falling asleep and then them finding all their yeah. mafia friends yeah. and we can you driving us well down well. some we back alley and just like shooting us maybe georgie has gone with sahara and ollie with yet another guy back into the town to go and see if they can get a bigger van because obviously we've got all this and see if they can get it for what like half the price so fingers crossed they won't be gone for three hours like ollie was before Six hours later, here we are. It's alright, six hours later, and here we are. Six hours later, here we are. Yes, I do. Just living on. Can't really say any more than that, I'm not. Basically, we got two cars from two different hire companies and they both teamed together and went with the deposit. We had a little complication because we had put the card on. Now my card in Britain's just blocked itself because I'm spending money in France, Spain, Morocco, and I've got to get it deactivated, but we've got two cars now and we're ready to rock and roll, so let's go to the Sahara Desert. <laughs> You know, next week when you're back in England, sitting there watching Neighbours or EastEnders or whatever, you'll be looking back on this and thinking, wow. We all thought, yeah, we can do this, we can go to France, we can go to Spain, we can go to Morocco, we can go to Sahara Desert. But on paper, it looks so much easier than in real life. And with situations and problems that does occur, you don't you don't think about them. You think this is a straight route, and it's just going to go the way it is. But we've answered every question that's been answered, uh, been proposed to us, you know. Yeah, we've dealt it about it the hard way, and now we're still here, we're still doing it. The other struggle is we, we kind of lost track of times and days. That it's Friday, everyone's off for the weekends, you know, and it's also bank holidays and you know people have got to go and prayer and you know it's different cultures isn't it learning to adapt to theirs we're going from there to there yeah down there we're Quite. just following this road all the way down we're not turning <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> Car. Do you want to go across the road? Because they've already paid five euros to get in. And then no, what but where's the other, the other side of the road? I think they've went back around again. No. Yeah, I think they have. Where, the way am no, I going? Just go. 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 Just go.
station on the right side of the road or the left side of the road you're on the right right okay if you just get out of that petrol station we're get on the this. hard shoulder are we not pulling in no just get on the road and go come on we're going yeah, to if you we're just, going to need to get money out the, there's no cash machines there then if you come back out we're on the um this hard shoulder waiting for you okay Okay, bye bye. I'm going to go drive slowly, alright? No, catch wait, up. please wait. Yeah, but they I don't know. like us parking outside in the whole shoulder, I don't think. I don't know, I'm just not. I don't, I don't, I don't care what they like. No, can we wait for the girls, please? What? Please. They're there, they can drive on. No, we've already. Ollie, please, can we stop? Please, please, for me. We're like really quickly run because we're on our shoulder, so we're not allowed to stop here. Um, so. Put your hazards on and we're right behind you, right at the exit of the um, God, how long station. Is it to drive up there? Okay, bye bye. They're, they're in the toilets. So oh, oh fuck's sake. I'm driving on and they can catch no. up. I'm just going to drive no. very slowly, no. alright? No, because no, that's another phone call. I'm hammering my phone. Are you smoking? Yeah, yeah I think you, he's allowed can you, to. Can you open the window a bit, Harry? Taking a piss, literally. <laughs> and then turn right and say half way five. Okay. Oh, there you are. Right, easy, easy, it's wet. It's a fucking police car. Hi, we thought you were at the police car. The police car had it has it on. Up. So we're now in front. Oh, we're now in front of the um, the exit of the petrol station. So if you come out, you'll see our head head has the lights on. Park. You no, know, we stopped. We're on a hard shoulder. We're about half a mile ahead of the service station. So just get back on the road. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. This is not a good place. To be. Is that them? Yeah, they're coming up behind us. Yeah. Okay. Down. So come down here. That's where we got this. I'm not going to shout at them, but I'm just making a point. Follow us. Where are we? Mm. Somewhere in Africa. Where are we, girl? We're around a Casablanca now. Well, um, I seem to keep on getting lost. Sat now, kept on cutting out. Uh, yeah. So I think the safe is up for me to wait until daylight now until we make our way down to Panzahara. I'll we'll leave nice and early in the morning. We'll try and get a bit of rest now and we'll find a nice, decent place to stay. We're not in the Sahara Desert. Not yet. We're in Casablanca. So now we've decided to come here because it's too dangerous to, to go on. Things were just Nearly not working out. Nearly getting abducted by private police, and, you know. We money we didn't. Money. Yeah, we ran out of yeah. money on every tour. They wouldn't accept. We didn't have any euros. They wouldn't accept credit cards or debit cards, even though they set that advertised that. And all we had was English money, and they didn't. Except it. Well, so the other girls in the car actually had cash on them. So what, <laughs> what did you do? Did they really? Yes, they just gave me 50 bucks. When did they stop and get money out? We haggled the bloke. He wanted 120 euros to start off with, and we got him down to 60, so we halved it. It's worth haggling. What is this? It's called? Uh, Russell. Hassel. Russell Lidin. Russell. 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 
Where's Sel? It's for Georgie because it's her birthday in like four hours. I didn't hear her say she wanted one, but apparently she really, really wants one. She wants one for her house. So, she I said that wrong. <laughs> so I just say random things. Pitiful. What's it? Weeds. Rasta goes back years back in history, doesn't it? Years. Eight hour journey now. Soggy bread is the most disgusting thing ever. If I was a duck, that'd be like my worst nightmare come true. Do we get doves in Australia? Yeah. Do you know I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your country. I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> What's going down, blood? Well, like, I really don't know where we are, like, guys. No, we're going up here. We're going to work a left off at the square. And then we're going to go straight down. We're going to take at the first set of lights. We're going to turn right, okay? And then that should lead us straight to the autopista. But then we've had about that conversation about 50 times since yeah. we've left, so um, it might change. Oh, so hard, we stalled it. Cheek left. <laughs> Just the right oh one. God. Just the what? right, a little tuck. Your Good. right bum cheek? Yeah. What's wrong with your right bum cheek? <laughs> well, let's just say it would be like that. It's like that, but I would be making it like that. Are you sure that's not just when you're turning around to look at it in the mirror? <laughs> uh, yeah. I just think it's a bit what? long for my rounded face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's a map. Pass me a bag yes. of the map. Wrangler. I was with a guy that was from Chesterfield. Really? Once. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Come on! <laughs> Georgie! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we got a fight on our hands. <laughs> oh shit, now we've got to be inside here. Oh, oh god. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, sh uh, sh sure. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, thank on us. 
We're, we're on red, by the way. The traffic lights are on red. Oh, shush. <laughs> you got yeah. in the way, mate. It would be right if you Don't understand one thing you're saying. <laughs> yeah? Okay. La merde. La merde. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you shit. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like. Well, we're, we're part of a gun. gun in our ass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were fake, like cartoon characters. What, Eskimos? Yeah, man, they're, they're real. Genuinely they live like, in like. <laughs> Basically, when you just you're in the wind tunnel of my car, because oh, yeah. this is a big unit, um, so you get in a wind. I'm not getting between trucks and the barrier though. No, 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 they, no. They keep coming but over. can you see from last night how fucking mad yeah. it was? Yeah, yeah. No, you've done really well. Thanks. Woo. Did anyone see that horse poking at the top yeah. of the skip? Did you yeah. get that? Yeah. Come on. Get some away. Yeah. So, what's the Update so far, John. On travels, um, we've left Casablanca now. Um, finally escaped. We're now heading up the coast line, up towards Rabat. Then we've got to head slightly south east towards Meknes. At which point we then travel straight down to Earthfood or Earth. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Earthfood. Um, so that should be a simple journey. As you can see, like these roads are mega thin and with the rain last night, look at me, look at the state of this. I'm in a big old Toyota Land Cruiser. It's not really room, but with the rain last night, you can see the lines, you can see anything. It's just so, so dangerous. Hence why we needed to stop off and um, sleep in the hotel room and just take it easy, chill out, get some sleep for today's long journey. Long evening where we were so um, But it was kind of cool, wasn't it? We got to. We got to. Uh, I need to get a better map. A proper map. Uh, map, 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 map. Proper map. It's so cute. <laughs> it's a proper map. Um, okay, yes, we came from here. We're almost at Rabat. Um, and then we are heading literally across here and then up and down to Meknes. This is much clearer than the other one, it's amazing. Meknes, then we need to make our way straight down on the N13. Brilliant. Past Azuru, follow this all the way down past Midlet, and then to Arish. I'm a happy bunny now. Do you want to be um, shotgun? 
Uh, it might be a good idea if yeah. I'm in the front. In half mil. Okay. Thanks, Daddy, for teaching me how to read a map. <laughs> um, I think the earlier the better. Straight on, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rusted off who? Oh, wow. Stunning. <laughs> Ow! My groin. <laughs> Don't be sorry, it tickled. <laughs> I'm so excited, but I've had all five days. <laughs> I'm in love with this road trip. I'm, uh, I'm having a nice time now. It's really lovely, you know, for us as well, to have those particular memories. Yeah. I haven't really had anything, you know. Like that on the trip. What, no. what the full 30 hour episode? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to relive it. Whoa! You nearly killed the kid. Okay. Oh, wow. Hands up, it's your face. Oh, look, 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 Absolutely insane. I think it kind of makes it worthwhile with all you know all the highs and lows that we've come from so far. Since Tangier, we've you know we've done 833k, been to Casablanca, and here we are on the edge of the desert, almost getting ready to see some beautiful sand dunes. But this mountain is just insane. What do you know the theme tune to Planet Apes? There's all um desert around and then suddenly a town. Loads of people and cars and shops. So it's Look, really you can buy footballs, you can get pottery. Yeah. It's good to see there's a petrol station anyway because I reckon we'll need that on the way uh, back. <laughs> what a donut! <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Just, just, just I hope, I hope we'll be able to, you know, people will be able to oh, feel all this. Wow. Just like goats. Oh, oh the look. goats. Oh. oh my god, it's still got hair on its head. Uh. Give me some sweets. Stuff, but you know, like these things like just going to McDonald's or Burger King or being able to just do those stupid yeah. ass things that we get, we can just go do. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, just take your kids out to a dentist or, I don't know, a doctor. Or... Just like folding a duvet. It is. <laughs> I don't even pee because I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> Where's it go? What? Did you see the rainbow? Oh. oh. I want to do jump in it, but I know there's nothing there. I paid successfully. Not getting in. It's like Route 66 in States. It is. <laughs> Our Rishida, within an hour, will be alright to get there. Um, within an hour and a half, two hours. Where are we? We're in Al Fayud. I believe. I don't know where we are, to be quite honest. We are in the centre of Alford, which has taken us approximately, it's now midnight. Yeah, it's now midnight and we've just arrived here. It's taken us 14 hours. Mm, 14 hours, yeah. 
looking forward to some food. And some food and knife. I wouldn't even use a knife. I'd, eat, I'd, I'd pick, I'd bite it and use my yeah. hands to rip it apart. This is what happens if you don't sleep. You go slightly retarded. Yeah, that's classy, that is. <laughs> oh, I'm so bored. He's not going to look in the mirror, he'll be fine. Says so Georgie with a brown head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are just been woken up now, being escorted and showing the route into the desert location where the dunes are and the hotel and the, the big party. We're all pretty tired. <laughs> it's six o'clock and waiting for sunrise to arrive in about 20 minutes. Should be pretty spectacular. She's around and she tells me I'm here. I whisper in the ear sometimes, and I tell her that I'm here. And even when I'm feeling down, she's around and she tells me I'm here. I remember I would hold you a smile, but things got effed the we ain't spoken about. Red sky in the morning. This way. It's a house. <laughs> I'll let a wizard. Yeah, I'll have to see what they're called. Or have we just given them the name? Oh. Oh. That shit me up, that dude. Well, no, we're not anywhere near the desert yet, though, are we? Desert. This is just, well, it is desert, but it's a different kind of desert, isn't it? Sunrise, it's just going to start popping up in a minute. Yeah, the sun looks beautiful. Was it thinking of the Sahara? Sahara? Yeah, it's not too bad. Is it, is it worth, does it extend up to your name? It, it does. It's, it's not, I'm not dry and barren. I'm not saying I'm dry and barren. I'm not saying the Sahara does it dry and barren. But it's very nice, it's very peaceful, it's very beautiful. Are we not going the right way? What? That's <laughs> what you're talking about. I wonder if I'm someone you regret getting with. Or do you say to your friends, I'm missing him? Either way, I don't give a shit. Nah, nothing's better than the brethren chilling with the biggest look. Reminisce on chicks I did. Once you've seen you here out in the Sahara Desert. Hello there, pretty women. Are you enjoying the delights of the Sahara Desert? It's fine, fine day. Mmm, I am enjoying. After no sleep. I'm not good. enjoying you being on my face, but. <laughs> yeah. But you've got such a pretty face. What about so, Look at that you all. You look, now, you, now you look like a Bedouin woman. We look like crap. You don't look like crap. We haven't at all. slept and we've got no makeup on. I want to get out. Sand is friend to me. Sand is my friend. I wish to look at sand and I will find way to do a way to, way to music. That's what he said. Sand is friend to me. If you want camel, I will get you a camel. Do you want a camel? I said I will converse with my compadres and we may request a camel. Fucking brilliant. I was just like, dude, give me five. <laughs> that guy's great. Look, they're bartering for a camel. Maybe one of you are being sold right now. Three camels, Ollie. <laughs> No less. I will take her over there for two camels. I will take her over there and then I will bring her back after many hours of pleasure. Yeah, Ollie is laughing. That's what you were talking about. <laughs> this is a, one of them desert type places where people can get lost and die. I'm so wired. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is the uh, the sand dunes over there and the uh, the floor is, is volcanic. 
It's volcanic Sahara ash felt. This is what this is what we're on about. Yeah. But I've got to concentrate now and follow this stick wizard. This is a bit of a race now. This is incredible. You just quite emotional we're ready to be back. Guys, how are you feeling about the actual show itself? Are you looking forward to getting there? Yeah, yeah I really can't wait to find Yeah. Where I saw it was like kind of streets of tents, like in between like streets. And they got max shisha pipes and they're like random one like stages with different DJ sets going on. He's a lying wanker, isn't he? Sahara, where's the hotel? Oh, it's raining. Awesome. It's just not what it, what it is, uh, what it's supposed to be. We can't perform here. We won't be. You can't there's no point. Here. There's no point. It's a pointless exercise for us. People would be like, oh, what? So they're as big as they say, and they go to the Sahara Desert to perform for 20 people that yeah. don't even know we're here anyway. An achievement is doing something big. Like working, like well, doing what we've done to get somewhere big, not to do something like that. We've just worked our asses off, we've just travelled 6,000 miles across four different countries to get here. It's not an achievement. If you look that way, there's like about 20 people all spaced out, dancing around probably a campfire. Uh, we've had thousands and thousands of pounds worth of costumes specially made for us. We could perform like this and it wouldn't make any difference. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Can you stop filming? <laughs> you don't come all this way, put yourself through all of this. I just think what everyone's saying needs to be said to Ollie and Sahara. If we're not happy, we need to just say. It's, it's not only that we've, um, it's a bit dangerous with um, the people here and also even creatures, you know, we have I no honestly think you should take a little things. look around. Don't get me wrong, I'm see happy how to be here, is. but only because I'm here at the Saha Desert. I'm not happy about performing or anything. Like, all that I agree with completely. But I'm happy because we're here. Does that make sense? We alive. made it. Alive. No, yeah, just because I am I love places like this. Like, I'm happy that I've seen it. But oh, I'm it's happy just, that I've seen it. Yeah, but yeah. it's disgusting about like performance. The whole journey, you know, it puts you through a lot, but you get through it, and then that's that's an achievement I in itself. And it's like beautiful it's sand, and but it's it's the it's the performance thing, and the whole basically shanty town. Well, it's just not what we were told. Uh, no. That's exactly all it comes down to. It's not anything that we were told. It's not anything near what we were told it is. There's, yeah, there's people in mud holes. Do you want to take a walk around? Yes, please. And go see. It's been running for two days, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not like it's only just begun. It's already in the middle of it. It's got tonight and one more night left. If there's a stage, the stage would be up already. There would be places to perform. Do you have any annoyance in you? Like, is this what so, you expected? I'm so tired, I'm delirious. I'm just like, it's fucking I'm hilarious. <laughs> It's the opposite of what we are, what we what we represent as performers. It's not, it's not. We're supposed to be high-end, beautiful events, not shanty town. This is like, it's like a joke. It's like it's set up as a joke. It's like yeah. the opposite. We have spa, massage. What is that? That's sun. We need cuddles. <laughs> Oh look, the walls are made of grass, straw, beautiful. 
I could put this together with my 16 year old brother yeah. and his friends and it would be better than I this. I could put this on my balcony. Yeah. I think it's disgusting. But I love where I am, like the surroundings. I love it so much. Like, it's like, it's wicked. Like, I can't complain. Does that make sense? Like, we may potentially have a hotel, but yet again, I'm not going to bank on these promises. So what are you going to do about them? And I want you to share with me. Find the solution again. Yeah? Again, 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 and again, and again. Just as well I'm made of steel, isn't it? You're better without me. You're made of iron brew. <laughs> I Wrapped in carbon Kevlar. Kevlar, yeah. Impenetrable. You're teaching me the ways. I'm trying to embrace it, but I'm past the point of embracing. I'll go into Brixton and have more fun. I actually quite like Brixton, so I don't know why I just said Brixton. <laughs> I just don't even want to speak. We will always come out winners. But as as you can imagine, your 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 folks, your talents, enthusiasm is kind of like waning at the moment, as well, and they're looking to you for the miracles that you got to be able to manifest. Yeah, I'm not doing the job. Simple as. Oh no, we're not I'm doing, not doing it. It's not happening. It's not happening. I know. I'll probably sound like an idiot if I end up doing doing it, but this has just gone too far. It's been an amazing journey. It's be, these girls have done so well. Um, the, the, these girls have had to be strong, and I can't believe that no one's, no one's brought, no one's brought down, and it just shows how strong and independent these girls are. This is not what we were told. So yeah. obviously, I can see that the the, the pressure's now been mounted again on you. And. And it's it's difficult because we're dealing we're not dealing with Westerners we're dealing with well not only that we're also and the, the, and the, time is slow but the organizer that we met in London we had the he, he's, he's we had the bit, he's sleeping at the moment and he can't he be asked to get he up he won't at the come moment. out of bed he's he's a, at least an American got up, you know he's an American he's he's Westernized he had meetings with us off and off again showed his CG kind of like you know flyers that weren't obviously real, that were made on the computer, about this big, massive event that's going on. And, um, you know, we, we took their word. We're that still thing. fucking there. You know what, Having a cigarette, it's always a cigarette. Really the thing that's worse is the, the, the anger in the pit of my stomach. I want to punch a few people and scream and shout. It's a joke, it's an absolute joke. And yet it does break my heart. It absolutely breaks my heart seeing a little a little tent out there, what you call a stage, and I've performed on bigger stages in my local nightclub. I'm, I'm <coughs> embarrassed to be here, like really, really embarrassed to be here. And we're professional performers that travel the world and do some of the biggest events, all of us. And yet we've been conned into coming here for little money. We um, turned down uh, to go to Singapore and, and do a 10,000. <laughs> People event. We were supposed to be working for, for amnesia. amnesia. I have a suggestion um, I'm going to put to them if you girls all think it's a good idea. Like in three days time but we turned down that event to come here. We, we spent the budget to come all the way here. We're obviously driving, we're stuck in cars, that's our way back. These guys aren't going to help us and take us home. We've got to do that journey. Okay, so we take that on board. But I was thinking maybe we drive back to Fez. But uh, this isn't the end of it. They will be hearing from us when we get back to London and they will be feeling it because this is sadly a very wrong situation. It's like a seven hour journey. They take the cars back, they sort it out, we you get a flight from their home. I don't care if they've had desert storms, etc, etc. It's unacceptable and it will be dealt with in the appropriate actions. We're girls and in, we're in Mor Morocco, we're at risk. Boys are. I mean, just because this, this has been a shoddy event, it doesn't mean that we can still then not go on to do better things like travel the US and get them gigs that we really, really, really want to do. I've been to a lot of foreign countries and a lot of big gigs with like thousands of people. And to come here, it's just like, I've worked hard for four years to come here, it's just disgusting. Um, I didn't expect any of the whole week to be quite same. I don't think I even had enough information to realise. Maybe you, do, you guys didn't realise as well. We've had lots of hiccups and 
and I know shit happens, but um, I, I don't know. <laughs> If I'd have known, I would have stayed at home. <laughs> you know how much we spent on this? And it's my own cash. My own cash. Yeah, it's not not even some sponsored cash. £10,000 of my own cash. So I hope you all feel that as well. Because I'm trying to do this for your futures. Not just mine. This is a group. I'm trying to get this up to, up to the top. You know? I'm not disagreeing. We're all just... Emotions are high, that's all. And, and when I say to you, we're going to do the 52 states very, very soon in America with a big, big, big tour bus with toilets, with, with a la carte, kitchen chefs. Do you believe me when I say it's going to happen? Don't ask me that today. Ask me that after eight hours of sleep. Well, it is going to happen. So just tell me what, what's going on. So basically, uh, um, I said to Abdu, this is not acceptable, I want money now for the hotels. We're going to hotels, we'll come back and we'll do two parties. Ha, <laughs> we ain't going to do two parties. We'll do what we want to do. Whatever we decide to do, we do, okay? But we've got some money off them a little bit, 6,000 dirhams, which is around 600 pounds. So that at least covers the hotel, you know? Gets us, we can eat like kings tonight. We'll have nice big steaks. And if we'll get massages in, we'll do whatever it takes to make sure that everyone is feeling healthy and really good. And they're going to get around a £10,000 bill when they get back to England. Lawyers are going to get involved and Ivan, the American promoter who we met in London at his penthouse, who gave it all the everything, he can't even be bothered to get out of bed. Good little course. Where's it? Beans and champagne. Beans and champagne. Take it away, Lucy. How many words? Couple, just a couple. Um, extremely different. Extremely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Would you like to say anything else? Yes, yeah, this will never be streamed by anyone. When I see you from the mirror, fix your hair and touch up your eyes. Sipping wine. <laughs> I've never had such traumatic <laughs> mood. Like, I was a schizophrenic. <laughs> like, ridiculous. It was a roller coaster yeah. of emotion. Yeah. Very turbulent. VIP goddesses do the Sahara Desert take two. Get it quick, Get it. VIP goddesses do the Sahara Desert take three. The VIP goddesses do the Sahara Desert take four. VIP goddesses do Sahara Desert take five. We we achieve something that will never ever be ever created again.
so many unanswered questions, but we don't make a sound. So lift your eyes above the ground. Speak now. Speak now. It's okay. It's alright. You got so many people by your side. Dry your eyes. Dry your eyes.